Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Today is Saturday the 13th of April and I thought I would do a weekend vlog for you this weekend since I didn't manage it last week. And today is going to be a relatively busy day around the house. We ain't going anywhere because we are waiting for Storm Kathleen to appear. Everybody's been warned about this big storm, it's going to be very, very windy. So yeah, it's not at the moment, it's, it's like the calm before the storm just now. But later on it's supposed to get really windy. Hello Clyde. Jack's just back with Clyde and Hades doing their run. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing bits and pieces around the house today. But we are going out for a wee while tomorrow. But I'll tell you that tomorrow. Hello big boss. Oh dear me. I've just been talking to you all. What is it about the camera? As soon as I start talking to the camera, they all decide that they want cuddles. Hades is with Jack. He'll be exhausted. Um... I think I've said before, Jack's training Hades up for the canny cross now that he's old enough. And uh, yeah, he seems to be doing well, but 5k is quite exhausting for him, so he'll be lying by Jack's feet probably just now. Today, yes, bits and pieces to do around the house. Let me turn you around and I'll show you what I'm planning to do. We'll start over here. I'm not planning to do anything with this today. I have got a crochet project that I want to work on. I haven't forgotten Yvonne. Um, and I finished this diamond painting, the dragon one. I was doing this in my crafting chat on Wednesday and it's finished now. So I want to try to find a suitable frame or canvas or something to put that on. I don't know if you can see the shimmery bits. I used the glitter Mod Podge to seal it because I've run out of the glitter diamond painting sealer. Um, and I can't afford to buy a new one. <laughs> So I've got the glitter mod pods there and it does the same job so isn't he very cute I like him this here is uh my latest BB craft package I need to get that haul filmed I haven't looked in it yet I opened it just to check that that's what it was and it is so yay I'm gonna do that today I'm so excited and over here is my laser machine which I've not spoken about really since I got it because I was so busy but now that I'm not so busy I have been trying to suss out a bit about how to use it. So I've watched all the tutorials and today I'm going to try, I've figured out how to try to suss out the best engraving settings. So I'm going to try that today. And then I need to go on to all the tutorials again for the cutting side of it. So yeah, I'm, I've been quite busy trying to learn about that because I think it's going to be really good once I get it up and running and know what I'm doing with it. And the other thing is this. It's this weekend that Brooke goes to cadet camp. She goes tomorrow for a week. So we need to get her packed today. We finally got her a proper bargain because she was going with like just a normal bag, um, overnight bag type thing to camp. And everybody else had the proper bargain. We're like, no, we need to get her the proper thing. So we got that and it came with what looked like a bit of material and loads of clips and Brooke was told that it can turn into a rocket pack so she played about with that yesterday and sussed it out so she's going to try that on and show you why it's called a rocket pack later on so that is the plan but before I do any of that cleaning calls I'm going to clean the oven today I've not cleaned the oven properly for I don't know how long other than just giving it a wipe down because I was always really, sorry about the banging, back in the kitchen, I was always really disheartened with it because no matter what I did with it, it always looked dirty because I didn't know how to clean in between the glass panes on the door. But I was watching a Facebook video, I've started going on Facebook a lot more now, not so much to post anything, I'm, I'm not really into posting on Facebook, but I love watching all the different reels and life hacks and things like that. So I think I know how to take the glass out now to clean in between. So yesterday when we were at Asda, we went into B&M and I got an oven cleaning pack. And I am going to do that today. So I need to get that done first. A, because I like to have something to look forward to after it. So I'm doing my BB craft haul is what I'm looking forward to. And B, because it takes four hours. Um, you need to leave everything to soak for four hours and then go back to it. So I need to do it just now. It's the back of eight just now in case anybody wants to use the oven later on. 
So that is my plan for today. Let's go and get it started. So this is the kit that I've got inside. It's got gloves, solution, I'm going, cleaning solution, gloves and a big bag that you put the oven trays in to soak. So I'm going to get that done. First of all, gloves. Big bag. You can put up to two racks in there. I don't know if you can see what I mean about the doors being so dirty in between. So. Two dirty racks. Now to find out if this really does work. Apparently, you take this bit off. I didn't know that came off. And this should just... Yay, look at the state of it. Look at it, gross. So that doesn't get the actual oven cleaner stuff on it so that's why I want to take that off first so now I need to take what's left of that and cook the inside of the oven but I need to stay away from the seals and the glass and things like that Okay, so I forgot to press record when I was cleaning the glass and things, but the glass is definitely a lot cleaner now. And uh, that's the outside glass. Inside has got all the solution on it. That gets left for four hours. And outside's looking much better. This piece of glass, however, is a different situation. It is so caked with grease that the normal kitchen cleaner wasn't cutting it. So I've just put an all-purpose degreaser on it and I'm going to leave that for maybe half an hour or so and then I'll come back and try and give that a clean. This gets left like that for two hours and then I'll turn it over and leave it for two hours and uh, yeah, that'll be that. So the kitchen's a bit disrupted for the next wee while but the girls are in their room and probably won't come out anyway. <laughs> so I've just finished filming my BB craft haul and I thought I would give you a sneak peek look. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot in the haul this time. So that will be going up on Wednesday for you. Now we've got all the tidying to do. But yeah, woohoo. Right, the four hours. Hello, Clyde. Hello, Willa. The four hours is nearly up for the oven, so I'll go through and sort that in a minute. But I wanted to show you what I've been doing since I last spoke to you. I framed my diamond painting. I'll show you. There we are. It's not perfect, it doesn't fit the frame great, but from a distance you can't really see that. So yeah, I quite like that. And while I was watching some tutorials on my laser engraver thing, I needed something to do because I can't just sit and watch something. I need to be doing something with my hands. So I made this little metal. Oh, I can't really see it very well. Is that better? Look little metal Christmas tree. This is a metal 3D puzzle and I got it in a Timu haul which will, I can't remember if it's the one going up this week or next week but yeah I really enjoyed doing it and it only took me 10-15 minutes so yeah that's what I've been doing. The wind is starting to pick up now of course it calms down a bit just as soon as I put the, the camera on it but yeah it's starting to pick up so I think Kathleen's maybe making her way in making herself known. I'm going to head through to the kitchen now and finish cleaning the oven. I'm not going to film it because I need to take everything back through and stuff but I'll show you afterwards. But 
the glass, the inside glass of the oven, I've not managed to get clean at all. Jack tried and couldn't either, so he googled it and apparently making a paste with bicarbonate of soda and water is one of the best things to do. So Jack's nipping out later to take Abby to work because she's um, working at her new job today. She did her first shift on Wednesday and said that she really enjoyed it but she was knackered because she'd just done a full shift at the at Toyota and then she had an hour's break and went and did five hours in the pub and she was exhausted when she came in but she said she really enjoyed it and she managed to learn quite a lot and she's good at pulling pipes apparently so yeah this is her second shift today she's doing an afternoon shift and then she has a work night out after that so she's looking forward to that but anyway that's what i was saying jack's taking abby in because he needs to nip to morrison's so while he's there he's going to get some bicarbonate of soda and see if we can get that oven door clean but these daft dogs are you playing but um yeah in the meantime i'm gonna head through to the kitchen finish cleaning the oven and i'll show you what right. i know you can't really see it very well because it's dark but the oven is much cleaner now and so is that bit of the glass it's that bit there look how greasy it still is so yeah we'll try and work on that later but now i need to clean the chemicals off the racks and put them in the oven the wind is definitely picking up, folks. Brooke is planning to go out as well. She's going out to town to get the snacks that she wants for going to cadets. For the cadet camp because she doesn't eat any of the food that they've got there. <laughs> Look at that, oh my goodness. And I said, well, Dad's going to Morrison's, why don't you go with him? Nah, I'm going to town, I'm going to meet my friend. Crazy. But kids don't get it, do they? <laughs> Anyway, there we go. The oven is looking much better now and especially when I close the door, but that's because that bit of glass isn't in yet. I'm going to wait until we get the bicarbonate of soda, see if we can clean it before we put it back in. But it's much better. There's Abby looking lovely. So you do you think you'll be looking as lovely once you've finished your shift in the oh. pub? <laughs> you said you're wearing high heels tonight. I take it you're not wearing them in the pub. No, I'm wearing my trainers and then I'm I was going to say, that would kill you. Yeah, I would fall. <laughs> Good. But is that your outfit for tonight? No. No, is that it's just your... pub outfit. That's your pub outfit. I'm wearing my red dress. Ah, nice. Cool. Don't sniff our sock. Hades, don't steal the sock. Can I show them your foot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, dogs. <laughs> She uh, didn't think about the fact that she's wearing high heels and she didn't turn her foot properly. <laughs> but what did you say? If Any, anyone, anyone looking at my feet is a creep anyway. So very true. They go, oh, why is your tan patchy? I go, why are you looking that close? Exactly. Yes! <laughs> right. I'm going to be taller than one of the guys at my work. Oh. With my heels on. He's not going to like that. What a shame. <laughs> cool. So your first shift went well, didn't it? Yeah. You looking forward to today? Mm -hmm. Hades! <laughs> You're funny. It's a sock. It's like, yeah, it smells of you, Abby. I want it. So, Thank yeah. God I've just had a shower. <laughs> cool. Is it just uh, in town? Yeah. You're just in Helensburg, are you? I finished my shift at six. Brendan's going to come to the pub and meet me. So please, and we're going to see where everyone else is, and we're going to go cool. for the meal. Did you not have another party as well to go to? Yeah, but it's just too much. Too by much the, hassle. By the time I get there, I need to leave. Right. Cool. Excellent. Where's the meal this time? Anaya's. Anaya's, yum. Never sat in there. No. Everyone's saying it's the best. Oh, fab. It's obviously it's my favourite takeaway. Absolutely. Is it the same menu? I'm not going to be getting chips and milk. I don't think they do. <laughs> Especially the can if you really don't want anything else. Right. But I wouldn't be that person. <laughs> hey Bella. Oh, all the puppies are here. The gang's all here. Flicks in the shower. The gang's all oh Hades. Really? <laughs> Such Hades. a needy dog. What are you doing? There's Brooke. <laughs> Was that shower a bit hot by any chance? A bit. 
You're looking red. <laughs> what have you lost it? Your rocket pack. Show them why you discovered why it's called a rocket pack, didn't you? Is that what it's called? When you put it on, once all the clips are on, it looks like a rocket. Yay! Have you put your name on your Bergen? I know you have on your rocket pack. No. Right. Is that you're going to get packed? Yeah. Cool. I'm so glad that's not me. Mm -hmm. One of us is getting all pamper a night out, the other one's like. I'm going to go shoot some. <laughs> you couldn't be any more different, could you? <laughs> and I don't think she's the one that should be allowed with guns. No, know? probably so. not. <laughs> oh, stinks. That is so cool to watch. Very addictive. <laughs> I'm loving how it's turning out. It stinks though. It really does stink. This is my first ever engraving. <laughs> I still need to suss out how to cut, but it's a start. That's it finished. How cool is that? Yay! I'm going to have to adjust the settings a bit. You can see it's a wee bit singed, so it's it's went a wee bit too far, but I like that. Going to open a world of possibilities. <laughs> Anna. Hello big boy. You sitting there looking for food? Are you? Dad's away to get you watercress because Asda didn't have any. And you like watercress, don't you? Yeah. You've had some crickets though. You have. Puppies, there is no way you're getting out in that. Look at the state of the wind. It doesn't look so bad out the front as it does out the back. But it is absolutely crazy out there. Can you see the waves on the loch? Wouldn't you? <coughs> right. I wouldn't fancy being out on the water today. Definitely not. Jack's moved the sun loungers out the way so they didn't get blown about. Look at all the dog toys that are out there, puppies. Look at all the dog toys that are out there. You're not getting out for them, sorry. Not today. <laughs> It looks like the bicarb trick's working. I just made a paste with lots of bicarb and a tiny wee bit of water. Put it on, that's been what, about an hour and a half maybe? It's been on. Is that just a dry sponge you're using? So yeah, it might take a couple of goes, but... that. There you go. If you ever have trouble cleaning the glass in your oven, a bit of bicarb of soda and uh, make a paste, leave it and then give it a clean. So that is five o'clock. I'm going to end the vlog for today. I will pick it up again tomorrow. Brooke is still out in town. She's getting the six o'clock bus back and uh, we'll finish the bits and pieces of packing that she's got to do when she comes back. So that she's all ready for tomorrow. We will be getting up early. Well, we're always up early anyway. But Brooke will be getting up early. And uh, yeah, we'll be leaving here probably about quarter to eight. Something like that to take her to her pickup point. For going away to cadet camp. And then we get peace for a week. Yay! I mean, then Brooke's away for a week. What a shame. <laughs> so yeah, I've had a, a busy day but a good day. That's the engraving that you saw earlier. That one there, something happened halfway through. It was going to say just a girl who loves dogs. Um, but I did that one as well. Obviously it was too low down so it missed the bottom of the tree and I just coloured it with some metallic pens. <laughs> so definitely got a long way, a lot to learn still with the engraver but it looks like it's got potential which is good. Right, so I'm going to head off for tonight and I will see you in the morning. Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. Yes, it's Sunday, it's about quarter past eight. Uh, no, it's not, it's about quarter past seven. Brooke is getting organised, just doing her last bits and pieces for going to camp. 
I'm emptying the dishwasher and then we're going to be heading. Yeah, she's getting peace for a week. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's away to camp. We'll drop her off at 8 o'clock and she comes back next Sunday, so it's a full seven nights. Um, it'll be weird. Hades will miss her. She'll miss Hades. But, hey ho, she's going to love it. She loves going away to cadet camp. And basically what they're doing this year is, you may remember last year they were away for two weeks in the summer and this year they've decided to split it into two lots of one week. So this is the first week and then there'll be another week in the summer. I don't know why, uh, I don't know if it's for logistical reasons or if it was too long for them or what it was last time. But uh, yeah, that is today, sorry about the light, it's the kitchen. So. We will be doing that, we'll be dropping her off and then we're taking the dogs back to the dog park. The wind has died down a bit. Um, Kathleen thankfully didn't get as bad as she could have last yesterday here anyway. Um, let me know in the comments below if you were badly affected by her because I know she was UK wide. Um, so I'm sure there's a lot of places had it a lot worse than we did. So let me know in the comments below. I hope nobody has been injured or suffered a lot of damage, anything like that. But yeah, so we're going to the dog park and hopefully it won't be too windy. There's a shelter there if it is. Um, if it's really bad, I'll sit in the car and watch. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're planning to do. And I think we're just coming back home after that. We had been going to go to Morrison's for a couple of bits, but Jack went yesterday when they dropped Abby off. So we don't need to do that, so I think we'll just be coming right back afterwards. Um, because it is a big day here in the west of Scotland, if you're a football fan, it certainly is in this house, because it's the Glasgow Derby today, which used to be known as the Old Firm game. Um, and yeah, basically it's at Ibrox today, so it's at Rangers football ground, and Rangers take on the mighty Celtic. And it's a very important one this time because basically they're such a close, you know, we're, we're very close to each other at the top of the table that this could be, it's a six pointer basically, but I'm not going to worry about it because a lot of you aren't football fans, but if you are, just know it's a big day. So I'm kind of dreading it because Depending on what way it goes, could depend the outcome of the day. <laughs> Abby didn't come home last night. She messaged me to say that she was staying with one of her work colleagues. It was just easier. She had originally been going to be the driver. She was going to be the designated driver last night. But obviously her little car accident put paid to that. So rather than messing about, like either having to leave early to get the last bus because the last bus on a Saturday is 11 o'clock um, and a taxi costs an absolute fortune. So I think she decided just to stay with one of her colleagues. So that's fine. We'll find out when she does come back. I would imagine she'll come back to watch the game unless she's going out to watch it with any of her friends. I don't know. Hello, puppy cat. You've not seen Lomond for a while. Hello, Mint. Hello, puppy cat. He's got a nice new collar. Yes, he has. You've just had your breakfast, haven't you? Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? You can't go on my knee when I'm doing the dishes. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, puppy cat. You want to go and get Brooke? You're going to miss her as well, aren't you? Because it's her room you sleep in. Just let me show you the oven as well. Jack, I gave it a second coat of the bicarbonate soda paste and Jack gave it a scrub and look when you put the actual oven on, when you put the light on you can still see it's a bit messy but it's a hell of a lot better than it was so that is a good oven cleaning hack bicarbonate soda paste there we go um, excuse me Mr Cat can I please go and finish doing what I was doing or are you just going to lie there? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going ahead just now, finish sorting the dishwasher and I'll come back to you when Cadet McCord comes through, ready for going to camp. Oh, <laughs> casual stopped. <laughs> There's Cadet McCord. Not quite ready to go, but nearly. Why is, it, why is the squirrel on that bit? On what bit? 
They both fit. Oh. <laughs> the squirrels were funny in the wind yesterday. They were lying flat out so they didn't get blown away. <laughs> Look at it. Oh. They do that because they fight if they try to go to the same bit. So, wait. So one always hangs upside down at the bird mat. Oh, we should name them. There's three there this morning. They all look the same. We can't name them. I think we tried it once. That's hod it and dod it. That <laughs> one's thicker than that one. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay when you see them together. I wish we could put name tags on them. Could put wee collars on them. <laughs> so you're looking forward to it? Yeah. Hey, how are you going to survive? I know. Oh. <laughs> well, have fun. It's a bit windy, but it's okay, at least it's dry. Another decent view. It's much nicer in the summer though. I don't know if you can see it over there in the distance. Let me try and zoom you in a bit. That is the caravan park that we usually go to for like birthday meals and things. That just shows you how big it is. And that's where I was for the Christmas fair. My stall that I had at Christmas. Back to the doggies. <laughs> Very cold, but five happy doggies. Oh, goodness. Good morning again. It's now nearly half past ten. We've been home for an hour or so. Just been doing little bits and pieces. I want to be able to cut with my laser machine today, so oh, I'm waiting for a program to download just now on my computer. So I thought I'd come on and have a little chat. Brooke got away fine for her cadet camp, and I probably won't hear from her for a couple of days. I know what she's like. And um, Abby is on her way back. My dad's away to pick her up. We offered to pick her up while we were um, in Helensborough. Said, you know, we're going to the dog park. Do you want us to pick you up? And there was no response for ages. And then as we were on our way home, she messaged to say, Granddad's picking me up and I'm in Dalek anyway. I'm not in Helensborough. I was like, we could still have came and picked you up. Said, my dad going out. But I think it was nice for him and my mum to get a wee run anyway. So that's fine. So I've still not heard how her night out went. And um, one thing that I wanted to say, I keep meaning to say it and I keep forgetting since I've started this vlog, is I want to say a huge thank you to whoever it was that bought me a coffee the other day. I think um, there was no name, it was like a username that made no sense to me, so I've got no idea who you are, but whoever you are, thank you. You actually bought me three coffees and that put £15 in my account and you've got no idea how much I appreciate it so thank you, thank you, thank you whoever you are if anybody ever does want to buy me a coffee then please feel free the link is always in the description of my videos you just click on that and follow the instructions I don't think it works abroad I think it's only in Britain I don't know I think a couple of people have tried to do it from America and it doesn't seem to work Um. I've been kind of toying with the idea of doing a subscription on my channel so that you can join and get like member perks but I don't know if I want to do it because I don't really like asking people for money and I don't know what perks I would give you. I'm kind of flat out as it is making all my videos. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would have time to do separate videos like members only videos. I could maybe do members only live videos or something like that. 
I don't know. Um, I think it's two ninety nine a month it costs to join, and I can add all sorts of fancy buttons and things like that, and you can get merch and things like that. But I've not really looked into it properly. But let me know in the comments below if you would be interested. And if there's enough people interested, I might do it. I just don't like asking people for money for YouTube, which is essentially a free service, unless there's something specific that I can offer for that money. So let me know what you think. But anyway, another huge thank you to whoever it was who bought me the three coffees. I really do appreciate it. I'm saving up that money. I'm really, really wanting a vlogging camera, so that's what I'm wanting to save up for. But we will see. Um, anyway, I'm going to head off now and get back to it. I just wanted to tell you while I remembered that I really do appreciate it. So I'll see you in a wee while. Is back. Still in the same pose from the night before, the walk of shame. And still in the high heels. <laughs> was that a good night? Yeah, it was good. Good. But my makeup's came off, so... Look at the colour. Yeah. Look at the colour of your neck as well. It's very blotchy. <laughs> yes. What you got? You got the toy. Good boy. <laughs> Did you see the Facebook memories from today? No. I want to see it. Facebook memory. Old Stormy and Ranach when Ranach was a pop. That is like Hugo and Hades. <laughs> you used to. You used to. Look <laughs> at those faces. <laughs> so, like, what do you want? Hades is like, what have I done? <laughs> so you're looking forward to the game? No. No, neither am I. <laughs> See the amount of tweets I've seen, it's like, been to the toilet three times this morning already. Must be, it must be Derby Day. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll let you get sorted so that you can enjoy. Look what I did. I just engraved and cut a key ring. <laughs> How cool is that? So yeah, I still need to play about with the settings because it's uh, it's a bit burnt on the back and the writing's a bit small, but look, I'm impressed at that. So I designed that myself with help from YouTube, but it was my own design in a programme called Inkscape, which I'm sure is less complicated than it seems. And then I transferred it over into Laser Gerbil and etched and cut it. I am going to be having so much fun with that at Christmas. <laughs> There's a bit wood I cut it out of, but I think it was maybe a bit too powerful. Look what it's done to the steel that was underneath. <laughs> Thankfully it hasn't gone right through it onto my desk. But yeah, I think I need to change my settings ever so slightly. <laughs> well, that was some game this afternoon. I uh, I actually, when the, just before it started, I went through and they went, get out! because I'm usually a jinx and I went, but see, since when we won the competition last month and I got to watch the live game, I said, there wasn't a jinx then, we won, so can I risk it? And they went, right, you can come in, but as soon as we start losing, you're out. I went, right, okay. So uh, I sat down, the game started, within 21 seconds we had scored, and I was like, see, I'm not a jinx. And then by half, half past, half time, we were 2-0 up, and I was really enjoying watching it. It was a, a nail-biting game, but I was really enjoying watching it. Then the second half started, and uh, pretty quickly they scored two goals, and they were like, get out! <laughs> I went, okay, I'm going. <laughs> so I got banned, even although the second goal was disallowed. Um, so when I went through to the room, it was 2-1 to us, and it ended up a three-each draw. Well, to say the atmosphere in this house was not the best is an understatement. Although before the game, the way that we've been playing recently, the fact that it was away at Ibrox, we pretty much said, look, if we get a point, that's good. You know, so a draw, you get a point. And we thought that's good because we've still got a game to play against them at home at Parkhead, Celtic Park. So we thought, yeah, that would do a bit. Because we were 2-0 up and we were not cruising but we were doing really well and we were pretty much thinking we were going to get the three points to only get a point. So yes, Abby and Jack are not in the best of moods. They're not in bad moods but you know that way that it puts you on a downer and Abby's just lying watching the 
Man United Liverpool game just now, she's still in the living room. And I went through and she went, my God, this game. And I went, who's winning? Because I know that Stephen from the Steens and Gretsch family is a huge Liverpool fan. So I like to kind of keep track of the Liverpool score as well because I know that he'll be talking about it in the, the vlogs. And uh, yeah, apparently Liverpool were all over Man U, but Man U are winning 2-1 just now. So it's one of, those ga one of those days today for football, I think. I'm going to show you the weather now. It has turned glorious. Hold on. Hello Hades! Hello wee man! Look at that blue sky! Abby said it was tipping it down just five minutes ago. And now it's blue sky and the wind's away finally, thankfully. But yeah, it's looking... That, that's more a spring day. You know, nice weather and then an April shower and then nice weather again. So, yeah, I'm actually just going, I have just came on to end the vlog because while they were watching the football, I started editing this and it's already up at about 40 minutes. So, I thought I better not heather on too much more because I knew it was going to be a longer vlog being a weekend one, but this, folks, is why I don't do weekend vlogs. I heather too much. About nothing. You know what I'm like? And a lot of you say, oh, I like you heathering, which is great, it's lovely, but not when you need to watch 40 odd minutes of it. So I am going to head off. I'm not doing any more this afternoon anyway. Um, I'm just going to chill out. I'll finish editing this, play my games, that sort of thing. I haven't done any more of my laser engraving, but I've got an idea. See now that it's a bit like my resin. I was desperate to do resin and then once I got everything, my bottle crashed and I was like, hmm, I'll do it another day. Um, but then once I actually put my big girl pants on and started doing it. I love it. And I think it's going to be the same with the laser. Once I actually get the hang of it and get over the fear, um, I think I'm really going to enjoy doing it. There's so much that I'm going to be able to do, but I really do need to do more um, investigation of Inkscape because it seems that that really is the best place to, to uh, make all your designs and everything first, especially if you're cutting. So... Anyway, I'm probably talking a whole load of gobbledygook to you because if you don't do crafts, you'll not have a clue what I'm talking about. So I'm going to head off. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Um, if so, please do hit the thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Was this a fail doing a weekend vlog? Um, what do you think about me doing a subscription thing on my channel, like a membership thing? Do I? Don't I? I'm really... I don't know. Yeah, the money would be handy to me. Like I said, I would love to be able to save up for a vlogging camera because I hate the camera on this phone. Brooke's phone's still not here, by the way. That's another thing. Um, but at the same time, I don't like asking people for money, especially just now in the economic climate that we're in just now. So yeah, let me know. If enough people want it, I'll look into it. But if you are interested, let me know what sort of extras you would like, what sort of perks. That sounds bad, doesn't it? What extras would you like? Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Hit the bell notification until it says all, and that way you will find out every time I upload, and you will find out how Brooke gets on at Cadet Camp, and uh, all the rest of it. And I can't remember what I was going to say. I'm going to head off now. Thanks, everyone. Bye.